Dear students, today we discuss about the second semester first lesson of the mathematics subject that is division. Dear students, division is one of the basic fundamental function in maths. Okay. What is you already know that the definition of the division. Division it is one of the repeated subtraction of the same number. We call it as a division. How do you understand this concept? Dear student, I say one story or uh, one activity. Dear students, I have 12 pens. Okay? Dear students, I have 12 pens. Group 
Dear students, next concept the relationship between multiplication and division. Dear students, in the previous classes you already know that the multiplication is a repeated addition. Multiplication is the process of repeated addition of the same number. We call it as a multiplication. In the case of division, division is a process of repeated subtraction therefore the multiplication and division both are related to each other what is the relationship between multiplication and division i show you the example dear students i take one example to show the relation example one in the multiplication
dear students this is the sign of the division and cross this is the sign of the multiplication four threes are twelve this is the multiplication for twelve divided by four is equal to three this is the division sign and twelve is twelve divided by three is equal to four this is the sign of the division okay did you understand student this is the relationship between the multiplication and division i take one more example example 2 write the division form of the multiplication form first i give one of the multiplication form example 2 
values of the tables. Division by using the tables. Okay. Dear students, in the multiplication or in division, you must and should learn the tables. Tables are very important role for the calculation of multiplication and also division. Therefore, dear students, you must and should learn the tables two to twenty or above. Okay. Must and should the tables are very, very essential for the calculation of the multiplication and also division okay dear students the division by using the tables how to divide the numbers by using the table i show you an example example 1 example 1 
which number we can use to divide that number we call it as a divisor quotient the answer that is the quotient is the answer or result that is called as a quotient 6 for the 24 4 is the quotient this is the quotient Four is the quotient. The remaining after the subtraction, we get the remainder. After the subtraction, we get the remainder. This is called as a remainder. Dear students, these four components present in the division fraction. The number which is divided, that number we call it as a dividend. Example twenty four is the dividend. The number by which dividend is divided six is the dividing dividend. Therefore six is the divisor. The result or the answer six four the twenty four that is the quotient. After this subtraction we get the example two. Twenty-seven divided by three. Okay, divide this one. Dear student, this division factor also have it. Four components: dividend, divisor, remainder, and quotient. First, we divide this number by using the tables three. Okay, first we write the twenty-seven divided by three. Tables having a twenty-seven. Yes, three times a twenty-seven. Therefore, you do the subtraction. Which one is the dividend? Twenty-seven is the dividend. Which one is the divisor? Divisor. Three is the divisor. And which one is the quotient? Nine is the quotient. And which one is the remainder? Zero is the remainder. These are the four components present in the division. Therefore, twenty-seven divided by three is equal to nine. This is the division process of the numbers. Okay. This is the process of the division of numbers by using the tables. I take one more example. Example three. Example three. Thirty-six divided by six. Thirty-six divided by six. Divide. Thirty-six divided by six. Dear students, six table are in thirty six. Yes, six six are thirty six. To do the subtraction, dividend thirty six, quotient six, divisor six, and remainder zero. Remainder zero. Therefore, thirty-six divided by six is equal to six. This is the division of the numbers by using the tables. Okay. Are you understood, student? Next concept: the division is one of the basic function of the mathematics. This is the Process of division of the numbers by using the tables, and also you have already learned the relationship between the division and also multiplication. Dear students, in the class we can solve some exercise on the concept division. I show it with an example, 
and also to solve the exercise okay